I don't remember it, but I'm also gonna give it a thumbs up. Hi guys! Hello! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! So it's been a little while since we've done a video, we haven't had a lot of time, we've been busy, but we have had more time lately and we've watched a few movies, so to catch up us up to speed we're going to do 10 movies in one minute. Okay. Is that... can we do that? I hope we can do that. The way we're going to do it is, we're just going to say the name of the movie and we're going to wrap it up for you in one sentence. And then we're going to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, as usual. You ready? Yep. Cool. So the first one is Killing Season, which stars Robert De Niro and John Travolta. Long and never-ending movie. Too Much Talking by Travolta. Thumbs up. A thumbs up too. The next one is another De Niro movie, The Family, which also co-stars Michelle Pfeiffer. And Tommy Lee Jones is in it too, isn't he? I, don't, I forget to hear the kids work. It was okay, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Typical Besson movie with lots of action, I'll give it a thumbs up. Although the humour didn't really work that well. G.I. Joe Retaliation, which stars The Rock, Channing Tatum, um, Bruce Willis. Crap storyline, didn't like it. Thumbs down. I'll give it a thumbs down, it was boring and shit. Thor 2, Chris Hemsworth, Tom Hiddleston, Natalie Portman, Natalie Portman, and um, what's the old man? Anthony Hopkins. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. It was, uh, it was okay. More of the same. More thumbs the same. up. More of the same. Insidious Chapter 2, which stars Patrick Wilson, Rose Byrne, Angus Sampson, Lee Winnell, Barbara Hershey. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. It was pretty scary and I guess that's what you look for. You were scared. The humour didn't work for me but the horror was alright. Thumbs up. Jack the Giant Slayer which had Ewan McGregor... Nicholas? Nicholas, Nicholas Holt? 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 Yep. I'm gonna give this a th thumbs down. I'm gonna give a thumbs down too. Special effects were awful. Storyline crap as well. Mm. Prisoners which starred Hugh Jackman, Jack Gyllenhaal, Terence Howard. It was very, very long. I thought it had ended, then it kept on going, and I wasn't really satisfied with the ending, but I'm still going to give it a thumbs up. I thought it was okay. Yeah, again, I did like the ending. Um, it had a nice twist, twist to it. Thumbs up. Dark Skies, which is the alien invasion movie with the girl from Felicity, is it? Ah, uh, yes. The house being haunted. Oh, um, aliens. Yes, by aliens. <laughs> it was a pretty shit concept. But you found it creepy. You were creeped out. It was creepy, like the first few parts. But um, yeah, just like it... the ending. Yeah, the ending is a bit weird, but it was still enjoyable. Thumbs up from me. Thumbs down. The Lone Ranger with Johnny Depp and Army Hammer. Um, thumbs up. It was a good movie. Uh, sort of funny and just long. Yeah, it was very long. It wasn't as bad as everyone said. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is like a sequel to the original, which stars nobody. Um, I thought it was a good movie. It's the first time I've seen this Texas type of movie, te Chainsaw type of movie franchise. Um, I'll just give it a thumbs up. Uh, I thought it was okay for what it is. Typical splatter horror movie for teens. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Sorry we went through it quickly, but yeah, that's all we've got time for, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, we hope that you have a safe and happy new year. And Christmas. Merry Christmas. And we'll see you guys next year. Bye! Bye.